punishment. It will be an automatic fait accompli that multiple murderers will stay in maximum security, and by the way, they will have consecutive, not concurrent sentences. Multiple murderers will only ever come out of jail in a box. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev says he is going to make tough on crime policies part of Canada's future. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. We've seen courts across the country from lower level courts at the provincial level to the Supreme Court strike down mandatory minimums. They have struck down all kinds of tough on crime policies because most judges who are appointed by liberal governments, provincial or federal, believe in hug-a-thug policies, not tough on crime. And so you've seen things like mandatory minimums for child luring or sexual assault struck down on hypotheticals. Not the case before the court, but a, a hypothetical that the, they dreamed up and then said, well, in this case, it would be unconstitutional. That has happened time and again. But while speaking to the Canadian Police Association, Conservative leader Pierre Polyev said he's going to get tough on crime. He specifically cited multiple murderers. And he was infuriated at the idea that people like Paul Bernardo or Luca Magnata or Russell Williams, people like that who are dangerous offenders, are in medium security prisons. Well, Polyev said when it comes to multiple murderers like Bernardo, he's going to make it simple. You won't get out of jail. And he is going to make sure that it is constitutional, even if he has to use the notwithstanding clause. And all of my proposals are constitutional, and we will make sure, we will make them constitutional uh, using whatever tools uh, the Constitution allows me to use to make them constitutional. I think you know exactly what I mean. Um, so they will happen, and they will stay in place, and I will be the democratically elected Prime Minister, democratically accountable to the people, and they can then make the judgments themselves on whether they think my laws are constitutional um, because they will be. Now, the police association, that's the frontline officers, they applauded this. You're going to hear an awful lot of commentary on how awful this is, but there's a reason that we have to go this route. The notwithstanding clause was put in by the premiers at the time of negotiating the constitution patriation with Pierre Trudeau to make sure that parliament stayed supreme. That's not something that judges want. They want to be supreme. They don't want to be answerable to the people. They want their final verdict to stand, and they don't want to be accountable. Well, using the notwithstanding clause requires that the legislation under the notwithstanding clause be reviewed every five years. That means that there's going to be an election between the time that it is enacted and the time that it is renewed, and the public will have their say. Judges don't like regular people having their say, and they have gone so far off the rails that using the notwithstanding clause has become not only acceptable, but required. If judges don't like the notwithstanding clause being used, maybe they should stick to their knitting, stay in their lane, and do their actual job instead of trying to be legislators from the bench. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.